Hello, another teardown today and the victim is going to be this power cube. It's almost an ordinary extension socket but give it a strange shape and a strange name and it's going to sell really well. So if you want to sell a bestseller you don't have to invent a time machine or a teleport. Just take an extension cord and give it a different shape and a cool name like power cube and that's it. But it's basically an extension socket with a power plug and four sockets in it and a button to turn it on or off and a box shows a remote control so I was just looking to the bottom of the box where the remote is but no attention this package does not include the power remote power remote sold separately that's disappointing but anyway let's buy the remote later it says battery free remote that's interesting because I have no idea how does it work so maybe in the future I will make another video about the remote so today let's take a look at this one there's four sockets and strangely one is different this one has strange guides like the German style socket but it's a French style socket this one has no guides this one as well and this one also no guides but this one has German style guides with a French style pin so it's a mixture of two different kinds of socket and the universal European plug fits into it but the traditional French only style doesn't fit into it and the traditional German one also doesn't fit into it so it's only for the new European universal that's strange why one of the sockets is different than the others and it only accepts the new plug not the traditional ones it has no screws so how do I open it up I can pry this out and that's it and there are four screws Okay, a screwdriver. And that's it. A very long screws. Really long. And this is inside. There's the plug. That's a grounding bus bar. So fortunately this is really grounded not like the Chinese travel adapters some wires in it but I don't see any electronics now and yeah this one just pops out because it it is held in place by the screws and there's the board it has three wires going into it probably power in, power out and come on there's a fuse, bridge rectifier, capacitor inductor, another capacitor there's probably a switching IC a switching transformer, another capacitor interference capacitor there's some crystal, 16 MHz there's a chip without any marking but I think it's a RF receiver it's probably Synoxo SYN470 or something like this there's an antenna there's another chip it's probably a microcontroller and a lot of passives a transistor and there's the power relay it's 250 volts 16 amps and the coil is probably 5 volts and this is switching the power only one pole is being switched this is a single pole switching and I was expecting just a capacitive dropper to power this up but there's a switching power supply but this doesn't even have to be isolated from mains because it's completely enclosed and not accessible from the outside but they chose a power supply anyway 
there's an interference capacitor which is one nano rated two kilovolts and this is actually rated more than the capacitor in the USB chargers where you can touch the output so that's generous here you can see the relay 16 megahertz crystal this chip really has no marking on it this is probably a microcontroller this transistor probably switches the relay coil and that's it and I suppose the remote is working either at 433 MHz or 868 MHz and let's take a look on the other side of the board but I suppose there is just a button so you can also switch it without the remote so let's see and definitely this is interesting device especially if you have the remote for it because otherwise this board is just a silly switch okay I was right there is nothing just one LED a switch and that's it so that's a nice design I really like it the sockets look like a good quality and it has safety shutters so called child proof so that you cannot stick your screwdriver into it you only have to stick two of them at the same time but definitely don't try this at home especially when it's on and the power supply voltage is about 5 volts as I expected so I have put it back together and luckily it still works and now I have to get the remote control to turn it on remotely when testing those dodgy dangerous Chinese power supplies so let's see what is its own power consumption almost nothing so a time stand range and the self power consumption is 0.25 watts when it's off and 0.59 watts when it's on this is not so bad and I think when it's off the power consumption is mostly by the power supply and the receiver circuit and when it's on the coil of the relay increases the power consumption this is Diagon Wild and see you in my next videos